The Red Miners will welcome the Icelanders to JRD Tata Sports Complex where both teams will lock horns against each other. Jamshedpur FC is starting their new season with the win and will hope to win their first home match of the season. But they will face a tough opponent who are the current champions of Indian Super League Cup. In this video, we are going to talk about injury, team news, head-to-head, predicted lineup, plays to watch, match facts and telecast updates. So welcome to the 9th preview of ISL Season 11. Before we continue with the video, if you haven't subscribed our channel yet, then please subscribe and follow us on Instagram as well. Now let's get back to the preview. This will be a closely contested match for sure and fans can expect an exciting match where both teams will look to give their best on the pitch. Mumbai City FC will be looking to get their first win of the season when they face the Red Miners. Let's talk about Jamshedpur FC. So the Red Miners did an amazing job in their opening fixture as they defeated the Gors in their home by 1-2 and not many people were expecting them to win the match. Under Khalid Jamil, the Red Miners are playing a direct style of game in which players like Javier Severo and Jordan Murray will be crucial. Against the Icelanders, they will be looking to take the home advantage but it will be tough task to beat the away team. Fans can expect Jamshedpur FCs to stay compact and hit the opponents on the counter. Now let's talk about Mumbai City FC. So the Icelanders came back from 2-0 down to make it a 2-2 against the Mariners in the opening feature of ISL. They played very aggressive attacking football which caused a lot of problems for the home team and under Peter Kretke, they are expected to play like this in every match. Facing Jamshedpur at their home will be a difficult task but the men in blue are capable of beating the home team but they will have to give their best to get something positive from the match. Now let's talk about injury and team news of Jamshedpur FC. So the Red Miners don't have any injury issues going into this fixture. But John Torrell of Mumbai City FC came off in the first half against the Mariners so he will be doubtful for the match. Let's talk about head to head. So both teams have played 14 matches against each other in which Jamshedpur have won 6 of them, Mumbai have won just 4 and 4 matches ended on a draw. In the last 5 matches, Jamshedpur FC have won 3 and lost 2, while Mumbai have won just 1, 1 ended in a draw and 3 ended in a loss. And about point table, so Jamshedpur is on the 4th place with 3 points and Mumbai is on the 7th place with 1 points. Let's talk about predicted lineup. So Jamshedpur can use a 4-1-4-1 lineup today where Albino Gomes will be their goalkeeper. Ashutosh Mehta and Pratik Chaudhary will be at the centre back. Stephen Is will be at left back and Mohamed Owas will be at the right back. Saurav Das will be at the centre defensive midfield. Imran Khan and Rai Tachikawa will be at centre midfield. Javi Hernandez will be the left midfielder and Mohamed Sanan will be the right midfielder. And Javier Severo will be at the centre forward. Now let's talk about lineup of Mumbai City FC. So Mumbai can possibly use a 4-3-3 lineup today where Furba Rajenpa will be their goalkeeper and Ral Te and Mehtab Singh will be at the centre back. Tiri will be at the left back and Sahil Panwar will be at the right back. Jeremy Munzoro, Yol Van Neef and Jay Shrani will be at the centre midfield and Lalinswala Changte will be at the left wing and Nikos Karelis will be at the right wing and Vikram Pratap Singh can be at the centre forward. Now let's talk about players to watch. So Stephen Is from Jamshedpur FC could be a player to watch for. He is one of the best defenders in the league and with his physicality he is capable of making a difference on the pitch. He is very dangerous in set pieces and can score some crucial goals. He will surely play a key role in the season for Red Miners. He is, is not comfortable with the go ball but he does his defensive job very well as he is capable of stopping attacks with his pace and can beat opponents with his well-timed tackles. One more player to watch for is Jeremy Monzoro of Mumbai City FC. Last season, he played for Jamshedpur FC and this time around, he will face his former team. He is capable of scoring goals from a free kick and can provide assists to his team as well. He has a really good vision of finding places which his teammates can exploit. He does not lose position easily and is a proper leader on the pitch. He is capable of making a difference on the pitch and will be a key player for the upcoming future. Now let's talk about match facts. So the winner of the last meeting was Mumbai City FC. 
Last season's matches for Mumbai City FC ended as a 0-3 loss at Jamshedpur FC's home and 2-3 loss at Mumbai City FC's own home. One more match fact is that the average number of goals in meetings between Jamshedpur FC and Mumbai City FC is 3.6. So it is surely that we are going to see a goal fest tonight as well. Now let's talk about telecast details. So the 24-25 Indian Super League match between Jamshedpur FC and Mumbai City FC will take place at DJ RD Tata Sports Complex in Jamshedpur on Saturday 21st of September. Kickoff will be at 7.30 pm and match will be telecasted live on Sport 13 and will be streamed on Geo Cinema for completely free. And for international viewers, you can watch the match on one football app. So that's all for today. Who do you think will win? Mumbai City FC or Jamshedpur FC? Comment down your opinion in the comment box. And if you love the content, then please hit the like button and follow us on Instagram as well. And don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon so you never miss any future updates.